Hey guys, this is Utah Raptor 1987 here, and welcome back to another episode of The Extinction Files. In this episode, we will be discussing probably one of the most well-known dinosaurs from the Triassic period, the Herrerasaurus. So, without further ado, let us begin. Herrerasaurus was a Saurischian dinosaur that lived during the late Triassic period in what is now Argentina. From 231.4 million years ago until 228.91 million years ago. The first fossils of Herrerasaurus were discovered in 1959 by a goat herder named Victorino Herrera. And then, in 1963, the fossils were described by paleontologist Osvaldo Reg, where he named the animal Herrerasaurus ishigualastensis meaning Herrera's lizard from the Ishigualasto formation. Herrerasaurus was about 20 feet long and weighed around 770 pounds. There has been some debate on what exactly Herrerasaurus was. Some scientists say that it was either a basal theropod, a basal sauropodomorph, a basal saurischian, or not even a dinosaur at all, but instead a completely different type of archosaur. However, scientists nowadays classify Herrerasaurus as an early Saurischian. Herrerasaurus was a carnivore that preyed on smaller animals, with some evidence suggesting that they could even digest bones, and studies of their scleral rings indicate that they were cathimeral which basically means they were irregularly active at any time of day or night. Fossils of Herrerasaurus have been found in the Ishigualasto Formation. Back when Herrerasaurus was still around, this area used to have been a floodplain surrounded by woodlands that had conifers, cycads, horsetails, and seed ferns. This area used to have gotten seasonal rainfall and was also volcanically active. Herrerasaurus shared its environment with a wide variety of prehistoric creatures. There were the dinosaurs Cromogisaurus, Eodromius, Eoraptor, Panphagia, and San Juansaurus. There were also other types of archosaurs as well, such as Atosauroides, Ignotosaurus, Insertosaurus, Pisinosaurus, Saurosuchus, Coelosuchus, Triolestes, and Venaticosuchus. There are also other types of reptiles, such as Hyperodapodon, Proterochampsa, Pseudochampsa, and Tetalura. There are the Cynodonts, Chiniquidon, Exoretodon, and Pseudotherium. There are the Dicynodonts, Ischigualastia, and Jacaleria. And then there is the Temnospondyl Promastodonsaurus. Herrerasaurus hasn't really made that many appearances in pop culture. It's been featured in several Jurassic Park video games, most notably Jurassic Park the Game by Telltale and the Jurassic World Evolution series, where both of their designs unfortunately have pronated wrists and are slightly shrink-wrapped. Outside of Jurassic Park video games, Herrerasaurus appeared in the first Zoo Tycoon game and The Isle. Herrerasaurus also appeared in the PBS documentary series The Dinosaurs, where in Episode 3, The Nature of the Beast, featured a segment where a pair of Herrerasaurus attacked and killed a Hyperodapodon, only for their kill to be stolen by a Sorosuchus. And unfortunately, the designs of the Herrerasaurus are pretty inaccurate, as their wrists are pronated and they're heavily shrink-wrapped. And there was this one moment in the segment where the Herrerasaurus were sitting like dogs, and I don't know why, but I thought that scene was pretty funny and weird at the same time. Well guys, that concludes this episode of The Extinction Files. So, what extinct animal should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments down below. But before we end the video, let's pick which creature we'll discuss in the next episode.
All right, Bilar Bondock. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!